Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Gamer Hour. It's Chris Puckett here with a 2021 episode for you that I hope you all are going to love. We're back in Times Square, New York City, and if you're wondering what I've been up to, well, here you go. I beat Cyberpunk as a nomad, and the game only crashed, well, every two hours. I impostered my own friends and family on Among Us, and I've been freshening up on my building skills in a BR game that I still suck at. <laughs> Rocket, thanks for being Rocket and boosting our ears out there for the Bush Bookies tonight. In tonight's show, I murder the Mandalorian. Hold on, that's the Mandalorian. Let's go get him. Let's get him. He's tough. Let's get him. He's tough? Are you scared of him? Oh, oh that was so easy. What? My guest goes off roading. I think it's. Uh, yep. I'm getting out. Yeah, I'm coming. And together, we frag out. I hear my man I got one. fragging out. All right, I got a pistol. I'm fragging out already, boys. But before we get to see any of that buffoonery, we got to talk more absurdities from Call of Duty and Cyberpunk. Yeah, these games never disappoint when it comes to the headlines. Guys, I hate to tell you it, but Cyberpunk 2077 was exposed. Yeah, that's right. An in-depth report on the game's development surfaced, chronicling all of the troubles leading up to the game's release. Turns out, the game went into development in 2016. That's four years after it was officially announced. Yeah, and it gets better. That 2018 E3 demo we all saw? Totally fake. It was just a highly polished chunk of the game built for E3, with the rest of the surrounding world totally unfinished. Guys, I was there. I saw the demo. I believe the game and Keanu were real and ready to play. Turns out though, Keanu could only walk 15 feet in either direction before hitting the edge of the map. In other gaming news, Star Wars Battlefront 2 servers are totally packed. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be saying those words ever. <laughs> no, the servers have been flooded with new players ever since the game became free to play on the Epic Game Store last week. And with the new wave of players comes a whole new wave of server issues. With servers being packed, players are experiencing crashes, disconnects, and Jar Jar Binks disappearing from the game altogether. <laughs> that last one, not necessarily a bad thing. More games hit the Epic Store as well. Yeah, Hitman 3 launched exclusively on the Epic Game Store last week. And get this, one of the game's perks is you can play all of the missions and levels from the previous two titles. It's pretty awesome, guys. This isn't just a two-for-one deal. It's a three-for-one. But only if you've already paid for the previous two games. Thanks, Hitman. Remember that infinite stim glitch plaguing Call of Duty Warzone? Well, it's back, and worse than ever, the bug popped up again with the Cold War Season 1 update that was fixed about four times now over the past couple weeks. At this point, I don't think it's a bug. I think it's just one salty developer at Activision trying to get his first win. <laughs> In other Call of Duty news, gamers found a new way around skill-based matchmaking and are now joining bot lobbies to help boost their player stats. Experienced players are now joining and playing against noobs, which totally ruins the game for everyone new. Congrats, scumbags. You can't grow taller or longer, but at least you can pad your KD. <laughs> in console news, the Nintendo Switch accounted for 87% of the Japanese market in 2020. Pretty huge, right? 6.85 million consoles were sold in Japan last year across Sony, Xbox, and Nintendo. Out of those sales, 5.9 million were the Nintendo Switch. This is staggering, considering that PlayStation has always been so huge in Japan. Upon hearing the news, Sony replied with, WTF! And Xbox replied with, nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Rocket, for hooking my guest and I up as always tonight. We got a fantastic show for you, ladies and gentlemen. Our guest this evening is a cornerback for the Philadelphia Eagles. Please show some love to Avante Maddox.
Thanks, Rocket, for sponsoring this interview. Being in Philly, Avante, you're surrounded with some great food, and it's not just cheesesteaks. So let's talk about your favorite place to go. What is the Avante Maddox spot, and what's your order? Mm, Avante Maddox spot. Here we go. Um, I'm actually I'm actually not, not a picky guy, so lately I've been um, going to a lot of Chick-fil-A. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been hitting a lot of Chick-fil-A, and I would go with the um, spicy, the spicy chicken sandwich. I do the um, the tenders. The tenders are pretty good. I give the tenders a, a good one. Um, also, I might I, I created this new burger or a new chicken sandwich. So I get mac and cheese. I get a spicy chicken sandwich, and I get fries, and I stack them all together, and I put it on one. Bomb. Try it. The Carlo sandwich. I'm down for that. <laughs> Let's talk about the change sauces, though. Are, are we going Chick-fil-A sauce? Or are you going you gotta zesty? Go Chick -fil -A. You got to go Chick-fil-A. Um, you know, I get a little Polynesian. Um, uh, that's all, really. I know that's that's the two that's the two go tos there. Now, can you order the sandwich to have those things combined, or do I have to do some <laughs> manual labor after I've acquired all the materials? Oh, you got to do some manual labor. <laughs> you make <laughs> sure you get all three items, and then you know you just gonna have to use your hands, put it together, and then you'll be good. I'm, Take two. I, we got a Chick Fil A right next to the studio. That's <laughs> happening as soon as this show is over. I'm ready. It takes two all minutes. Right. Man, I was scrolling through your Instagram. You got a ton of sick clips. You got pics of your cars on there, but also a lot of you on the field. So let's talk about your play style. How would you describe yourself as a cornerback? Uh, I would describe myself as, you know, you know, feisty or whatever you want to say, um, you know, aggressive. Um, you know, I'm smaller, smaller guy on the field. Um, but, you know, you got to play, you got to play bigger. So that's how, how I treat it. That's how I go into the game, you know playing bigger as a, as a player. Um, so when I go in, you know, it's just all heart, you know, confidence, um, whatever, whatever happens on the field, you know, I'm gonna make sure I'm leaving it all out there. What is more rewarding, a big hit, a shutdown game or an interception? Uh, I say a shutdown game, it, you know, um, even though all three of those are very rewarding, but you know, if you have a shutdown game, um, you know, you, you hold that receiver to zero yards, um, you know he he's not a, he's a non-factor to the game. He didn't he didn't he didn't help this team you know try to win. So <laughs> that's how I think of it. Uh, let's talk a little bit about getting into the NFL. One of the coolest things is you actually get a character in the game. What is it like <laughs> playing as yourself in Madden? I think it's dope. You know I was um, um I, I'll say this story. Um I was in high school and you know I used to play NCAA a lot. And they cut it as soon as I got into college. I was like, no, that's my Aww. chance to be on a video game. How could they do me like that? And then I was just like, you know what? It's okay. I'm going to have another chance. And, you know, that, that four years later, that, that chance came. And, you know, uh, you know, I bought the Nomad when I first got onto it in 2000, what, it was the 18. And I, I clicked myself and I said, oh, my God, I'm in a video game. <laughs> you know, I turned my rep. Put all my stats up to 100. And I'm course. just catching all the I'm catching all the interceptions, running them to the house. I'm playing a rookie. You know, I gotta have have a great season. So it, it was fun. We see a lot of players are pretty vocal about their stats in the game. Are your stats accurate? What do we need to boost up? Uh, we gotta. I, I haven't checked them out a little bit later. I haven't checked them out um a while ago. But um, you know, as long as my as long as my speed is up there. I gotta make sure my um my hands and my juke moves is up there too. You know, I play a little offense, so they make sure they better put that put that um stat up a little bit. But um no, I gotta check them out actually. I I'll take a look at them. Let's talk a little bit about before you got into the NFL. I saw you're playing shortstop. With what other sports did you play? What positions did you play before cornerback? Um well I played baseball. I played basketball. Um and I feel like baseball is actually my favorite sport. Really? Um, so I, yeah, definitely. It was my favorite sport. And, you know, I play um, shortstop. I play center field, uh, second base, all of them, anything you name. And basketball, I was a point guard. You know, I feel like the center, too, because I used to jump and block all the seven feet, seven foot people shots. But <laughs> um, no, so yeah, baseball is my favorite sport. And I feel like it helped me much, you know, going into football because the things you do on the baseball field, I feel like it transfers over to um, football when you're playing defensive back. Um, like say, if you're still on the base, it's all about reaction and lateral movement. And when you at playing corner, it's a lot of lateral movement at the line and things like that. So definitely helped me out a lot. Do you still play any pickup baseball games? Do you do any beer leagues or anything like that in the off season? <laughs> um, no, we, we, before COVID, um, 
um, our quarterback Carson, he'll have a, um, a foundation for his – well, his foundation would throw a little softball game. And, you know, we'd do a little pickup with from guys on the team. And we'd go out and on the um, Phillies um, diamond and we'd play. So that, that that used to be fun. But lately I haven't played because, you know, COVID has, 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 has shut us down a little bit. But right. whenever it opens back up, I'm willing to get back out there. Love to hear that. You know, a lot more time in t- indoors. A lot more time indoors, which means you get a lot more game time. And you and I first met actually in Miami at the Fortnite Streamer Bowl. Now, that's when we had the pros paired up with the best gamers in the NFL Player Association. And I remember one unknown army came right after you in the draft. So, what was that like playing in one of the few esports events of 2020? Uh, that was actually one of the, my favorite, you know, moments of gaming um it was it was nice like i never been to like a land event like that and i felt like they they put put everything out perfectly set up fine and to the t you know i you know you go in you meet so many you know pro gamers and they get to meet so many pro athletes and you pairing them up together and putting them in inside of this land and right next to each other to work to team up and work out and try to win and you know, I had unknown, and me and unknown. You know, I knew him for a while before that, so he was always playing a little bit bef- um, before we got into there. And you know, it was fun, definitely fun. Did he teach you anything along the way? Because as you mentioned, you guys <laughs> played before that competition, and you won game two, if I remember this correct. We played four games. You guys four took game games. two. Okay. Um, he taught me to just stay right behind him. I think because I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not. <laughs> When I'm playing with him, it's just like I, the movement is way faster, and I'm trying to just keep up. And I'm like, look, I know, just don't leave me. Like, I'm just, just gonna be with you. He, he he have every gun in his loadout, and I'm just now getting a great tack, and he's already running off out of out of lazy, and I'm still trying to get mats. So you know, I'm, uh, it's, it's different gameplay when you play with them guys. You know, it's their 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 mind is moving way faster than mine's, and. It's crazy because when I play with my friends, it's like my mind is moving way faster than theirs. They like, they like, slow down. But I'm like, man, I'm moving fast. I ain't moving fast. And I get with them. I'm like, slow down. No, you're moving too fast. So it's a different. It's definitely different. But it's fun. You know, you get to get to play, play with them guys and they get to show their skill. Well, man, it looks like you honestly haven't lost a step. If anything, you're getting better because the 2021 rankings just came out for the NFL Players Association. And out of all the folks in the NFL, you were number two above people like Mike Evans, but just behind Kurt Benkert again. So what is it going to take to pass up the Falcons backup QB as the number one player in the NFL? Mike Evans, great gamer. Great gamer, shout out Mike. Uh, they, it, 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 oh my God, I can't get to him. I can't get him. He's, I don't know. Like, he has what, 12K? Yeah. 12K points, huh? Yeah, I can't get him. I can't get him. Uh, he's a, but he's definitely, definitely a good player in the game. And you know, I had a couple of days off. I had to go home, so I, I, I had to, I had to take a few, few days off of playing arena, but. You know, he definitely shout out to Ben. Oh, I keep saying Ben. Yeah, Kurt. And you know, he's he's definitely, definitely, definitely a great gamer. Uh, I play I play games with him now. We actually played games together to help us build up our points. Yeah. So he definitely, definitely fun playing with him. Well, you both climbed the rankings. You are the only two players over 10K points. And now you're definitely qualified for the next Streamer Bowl. And I know that draft is coming up. So if you could choose any pro player to team with this time around, who do you want to play with in Streamer Bowl 2? Um, so actually, I'm not really sure who's all in it. I want to say that first. I don't, I'm not sure who they all got going in, in into it. But um, it, does, it really doesn't matter. You know, I'm willing to stream with any guy, you know, that picks me um, – you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a, I like to have fun. I love to compete. So if you get me, you know, you just getting a guy with a ton of energy. You know, I'm gonna be that guy in the back <laughs> cheering you on. I might be dead, but you go get all that energy from me, and you know, I'm 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 gonna I'm I'm cheer you on to the end. So uh, I'm definitely give you my best shot. Um, I say I got a good shot. You know, I aim for the head. Yeah, you do. So I'm going I'm going for the 200. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, so that so that so that'd be fun. That, it doesn't matter. I love that. And you guys are playing for charity, right? Do you have a charity picked out if you guys win? Um, it would be a charity picked out. And I'm not right now. I don't have one yet. But when that time comes, I'll have one in mind. 
All right, guys, that is going down February 4th. Mark your calendars and check out Avante in action at the Streamer Bowl 2 hosted by Twitch. But Avante, I wouldn't be doing myself or anyone else justice as an NFL fan if I didn't ask you the hard one. Your former coach helped the Eagles lock up the number six spot in the upcoming NFL draft. So out of everyone in this year's draft class, who would you most be excited to take the field with? Um, you know, uh, it's... I haven't. I, I have. It's been hard to really catch college football because you know they were on, then they wasn't. It was on, and they wasn't. But you know, I, I always keep up to the guys. You know that that that's high up in the rankings and the All Americans and the guys that's winning the Heisman, the Heisman Trophy winner. Of course, he's a, definitely a great player over at Alabama. I was watching him play just not just last game, and they couldn't stop that kid until he had to come out in the halftime. <laughs> but I was like, God, Lee. So I, I definitely wouldn't mind checking him at practice. I feel like he definitely make us a lot better. Um, so, you know, whoever, whoever we go with in the draft, um, you know, I have tons of confidence in him, and, you know, I'm looking forward to see. Him, him, him grow and play as a player as this rookie year. I'll be honest. As a Cowboys fan, I hope you don't get Devontae Smith. There's no <laughs> way we can cover that kid. <laughs> oh, uh, we, we asked the community to submit some questions, as always, here on the show. And Fly Eagles Fly Guy wants to know your favorite football player of all time. My favorite football player of all time. There we go. Um, So I would like to actually start off, I would say I'm – I watched a lot of Brent Grimes, um, Daryl Green, um, but my favorite one, I, since I'm a Lions fan, I'm definitely a Lions fan. You know, I gotta go with um, Barry Sanders. You, you know, he he's crazy, uh, something something crazy to watch. You know, I couldn't really see him when I was when I was growing up, but you know, I watched a lot of videos. So, yeah, YouTube's pretty great for that. Most elusive <laughs> halfback of all time in that man. Great, great. Disco Mike wants to know, what is the biggest perk of being an NFL player? The biggest perk for being an NFL player? Um, you know, I will say uh, it's, it's being a, that, that, that top, you know, you're, you're one of the top, what's that, 1% of athletes that make it to the NFL. And, you know, you're just up there. You know, you're, you're at the top of the mark and, you, you know, you're one of the ones that made it and, you know, that's 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 definitely something to be um, grateful for, and I would say, you know, perk. Um, sometimes you know you can get free food when you go into some places uh, if they if you if you win it. Only if you win it, you know you gotta oh, be winning. Only if you're winning, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be winning. But um, you know you get free things, and um, and other than that, um, it, it's it's really it's that's what I say the perks are so far. Are you getting any free Chick Fil A yet? Uh, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. I know they. <laughs> Yeah, they say good game or, you know, great season or whatever, but I haven't got the free Chick-fil-A yet. Yeah, enough God bless. Give me more free chicken. <laughs> All right. Uh, JMB12 wants to know, if you were in Vegas right now, who would you put your money on for the big game? And we should also note we're filming a little bit in advance, but if you had to guess the two Super Bowl finals, who do you think has the best chance of winning this? Uh, winning it all here. Uh, okay. Um, it's either it's between either I'm picking going with the Packers or the um, Chiefs. That's that's the two I'm going with for the Super Seems Bowl. Seems like game. It's a pretty safe bet. Who would you win? Who would win that one? I should ask. Packers or Chiefs? Ooh. Uh, the Packers are playing well, and I what? Um, Mahomes got a little bit knocked up last game, so um, I'm I'm a little shaky right there. But so as of right now, the Packers has the lead. But if Mahomes come back, I'm going with the Chiefs. I like that answer. We'll see if the Chiefs can walk away with back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Avante, it's been a blast doing the interview, but it's time for some games. You ready? You ready? Are you ready? All right, buddy, strap on your rocket headsets. It's time to jump in with game time. It's game time. Rocket, thanks for watching our backs out here tonight in the gameplay time. It's Avante, myself, and David. And Avante, the higher-ups at Rocket, they called me earlier and challenged us to place top three in Fortnite. You think we can manage that? So, Rocket, I said it's going down. That's right. We might win. That's right. Well, if we do it, we're handing out promo codes, and a lot of it is riding on our success. I think we can pull it off. If we do, 10% discount off of all of the products on Rocket's website. So all your fans and the viewers, we're hooking you up with a big dub. I'm going to the left houses because... Right, I'm coming over here to the left, they too. They got a basketball hoop, and I appreciate that. <laughs> I got to level up already. Let's go. All I had to do was land. 
You got a shield? I hear my man I got one. fragging out. All right, I got a pistol. I'm fragging out already, boys. Love to see it. Run, Avante! Don't oh. die! No. He's one shot. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm gonna kill you with some nades. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll need. Where you at, nerd? He snuck, he snuck up on me like that. There you go, one shot. Easy. David, Get cover us! Up. Don't die! <laughs> Don't let us kill you. I oh, believe in spring. you. Oh, there's, I got a lot of people here. A lot of people. I here. believe in you, Dave. All right, we gotta build up. All right, I mean, knock one. Got one. Look at you guys, young champions. Come on, we good. We good. Oh, we good. I, I see him uh, by the taxi. I need some help. Tag him for thirty. Thirty more. He's one shot, boys. All right, I'm I'm healing up. Give me a second. You good, I'm charging him with a pistol because it's a freaking banana. Done. Nice. Chorizo. Yeah. <laughs> he got a scar. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! Oh, what I got Groot down here. <laughs> yeah, carry him places. How do you? <laughs> Please show me a bad guy to shoot. Oh, here we go. We got some fresh builds straight ahead. Lit him for fifty. Oh, he's one bullet. Land it. There it is. I gotta go for the llama. It's only right. You can't just leave the llama. See. You can't ignore the llama. You gotta go for it. Oh, I got some guys uh -oh. on me. You need some help? Uh, we're gonna try to find They're out. They're from inside, Dave, to your right. Alright. Behind the tree, Dave. Up. Oh. Underneath. There you go. Give it to him. Nice. Got him, got him. Don't All right, worry, there, there's worry. one more here, right? Awesome or did he insta-die? Awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure. It wasn't me this time. <laughs> I believe you. All right, we have a bounty. Oh, yeah, he underneath he's, he's uh, near us. Oh, he's under you, he's under you. Yep, I see him. He's coming to Vante. Oh, Vante rocked him. Got him. <laughs> oh, he uh, caught one right to the face. Bounty complete. Yeah, these guys suck. <laughs> right here. Right here. All right, Avante's chat, come get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're gonna we're gonna kill these. I'm tagging him. Nice finish. That's a shotgun. One guy left. I had more difficulty killing the bots than I did these kids. I see him. Get him! Do I keep this gold into the next game? Got him. You guys are the Got best. Him. Yeah. Uh, can we get a new rocket challenge? <laughs> Your new challenge is to kill 20 nerds in one game. You ready? Yo, I got the best drop ever, Dave. You'd be so proud of my drops today. <laughs> oh, he's coming down the hill on you. With him for 26. He's no shield. Three X. You got him. Another one there. Look at you. Look at Avante. Let's go. Let's go. Look at let's him. Go. Just murking him. Okay. Before my nades can even land, you guys got to murk. Nah. More people shooting at us. Where? Not sure. Point them out, Dave. I'm not sure. Oh, I see the builds. You guys see this? Yep. Yep, right here. Uh oh. That's not the button I wanted. Sorry, kid. Across the bridge? Yep. Across the bridge. Hit him 20. 30. Char I'm charging on him. One more. There we go. Nice. All dead, all dead. Nice. Where's his vehicle? Oh, that's drivable, huh? Yeah, let me put some gas in. Okay. What up, Jay? Welcome to the party. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, get out the party. We got Avante's people in here. I'm good with it. <laughs> what up, Jay? <laughs> Just don't forget about fuel. Where are we getting shot from? Uh, right here. Oh, no, that's the Mandalorian. Let's go get him. 
He's tough. Let's get him. He's tough? Are you scared of him? Oh, oh that was so easy. Oh, yeah. You guys just got to aim for the head, you know? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Take, we want to take a jetpack. His jetpack's there. Oh, thank you. Best Uber driver you have in town. That is hilarious. Oh, two nerds in here. How do I get out? Oh, no. I don't need to get out to get killed. Let's go. Look at that. <laughs> Clean up. There ain't no way. Hello, hello. We like some of this. I'm going to get back in our car. Or yeah, yeah, ready? yeah. It's it's drawing the noobs to us. I think we need it. Let's go find more kids and kill them. I think it's... Uh, yep. Right here. Right here. I'm getting out. Yeah, I'm fight. coming. That's good driving there, Avante. Yeah. No judgment. Zero judgment. He's one shot. You guys got that. There, Chris, uh, take this. I'm too busy. <laughs> Chris, take this uh, big pot. Thank you, bud. Oh, he, he's on the move. He's on the move. Where at? Hang him if you can. Oh, I got two people shooting me. Sniping. That one's down. I don't know how I'm floating right now, but we are. And I'm cool with it. Oh, that's my jetpack break. There we go, boys. There we go. He's all the way in that city. He's gonna get pushed out by the storm. There ain't no way he just shot me. Yeah, he's on the ground. He's running out. Do you guys see him? Yeah. Yeah, I see him. He's getting grenaded by everybody. Two people there. Oh, I broke my ankles. Oh, no. Oh, the downside of the Mandalorian jetpack. Let me climb on out here for you guys. All right, did we kill those guys or did they die to the storm? Uh, I, I killed one of them. We need one more. We need one more. Nine people left. Let's got, we got this. Grabbing some. Uh, got a guy over here. Yeah, find him, Dave. Uh oh. Oh, he has a sniper, so. I'm not afraid. Oh, nice. I'm charging. He's down. Check him, check him down. Yeah, Got him. Water? Got him. Dave's so good. He's all, he's down, so his teammates are around here somewhere. Yeah. I want to say he's right here. What is he doing? Oh my god. What's he doing? <laughs> 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 What's he doing? <laughs> it's target practice. Alright, so I know where he is. Sniper behind me? That is him sniping? Yep, he's right here. Get up, Dave. He's Get in the, he's in the building. He's in here. I can't jump. I can't see none of these. Man, the Orion pack is weak. He's gotta go the old old fashioned route. Struggle build. Got him. Do it. Champions! Nice. Back to back! <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Do you think we can get 30? How many we have that game? I think we can get four. I think we, we might. Make I think we can do it. 20, 25, 30 is possible. 25, we're at 24, right? Yeah. I think we can do 30. All right. Let's I think it's possible. Let's do it. This means we can't camp. We just gotta stay on the move. I'm going straight for the river and then cut in, I think. I think this is the drop. I'm good, I got a good drop. Good enough. Got some guys here, so. Let's see if we can got some good guys. I don't know. Their landing is, is telling me they're not good. And they're gonna the same person I pointed out in the lobby right here. She's right here. She's right here. Time got to deal guy. with her. Yeah, let's see if got, she's real. Got on top of you, got on top of you. Which one, me or Vante? Vante, yeah, I've got him. Got him. You getting shot at? Where from? From the hill. I want to say from the hill. Yep. Yeah. I see him. Got him. Nice. Got him too. 
Think he's got buddies up there? Yep. I'm either getting shot from behind or in front. I can't tell. I don't see anyone up here. I think here. they're on the hill. Up this way. Oh, there he is. Nice. Dead. Another one shooting me from where we were. Yeah. Tagged him 20, 30. He's one dead. Woo! Right. Dave, you dropped this AR? This thing's nice. I already had one. Oh, gotcha. Another one. Were they just coming out of nowhere from in there? Awesome. Now right, here's my... You guys got that? Yeah, he's dead. You don't yeah. need Uncle Pucker, right? I can go play in my boat. Uh, he's this way. All right, let's take him to his buddy since you want to be so far away. Yep, he's in here. Uh, I quit. I thought I saw him. Take care of this guy. Okay, here he's on the mountain. I think it's just another bot lobby. Yeah, it definitely is. I don't have shields at this point in the game, kid. Come on now. <laughs> oh, these bots over here shooting me. Hello. I don't want to die. Hello. Hello. Die. All right, we're at eight with twenty-four left in the lobby. But when I play with like my friends, that's really good in the game. I'll tell you now, I'll be ready to quit right away because right? I can't. Even I be trying to run, they be boxing me up, putting a, a cone in my box, and then I can't do nothing. I'm just looking lost. It's like, I'm strapped in here, and now I'm trying to hatchet my way out, getting shotgun that's why, through walls. That's why I say, like, I, I, I clap for all the pros, because I don't know how you do it. What the? Oh, that's three bad guys. Hey, yo. You guys are chilling there. <laughs> Where were you Oh, at? my God. The bots are amazing. Come in, come in. I've been. Oh. In. Here we come. Yo! Oh, this guy right here. <laughs> These kids are so much better. I almost died to actual bots. You, you, you alive? We're good though. Right more there. people shooting us, yep. I'm gonna hop in this car and go kill them. I'm going towards him. I believe in you guys. We got him, all right. Greedy healing. Got him. You know, teamwork make the dream work. Avante, who's the best pro athlete you've played with? Uh, in Fort, pro athlete? Yeah. Um, I, would say, I would say probably, um, Dylan, right? He plays. Um, he's an NBA. He plays for the Cavaliers. Okay. He's pretty. He's pretty nice at the game. Ooh. I said, "Oh man, are well, we missing a tire on this thing?" <laughs> but no, he, he's really good at the game. I was like, "Dang." Oh, and then these these baseball players I play with in this one tournament, and they was like really like pro level, like. Tunneling and tarping all across his own ward. I'm like, okay. <laughs> right. Like, they, 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 they definitely were advanced. Got a team by me. Coming. Bonus points if you run them over. I'm running them over, all right. Ooh, Get up, uh, yeah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Monte, now that we're gonna win, guaranteed, there's only two nerds left. Tell me a little bit about your stream. What have you been streaming? How long you've been streaming? Um, so I've been streaming for uh, about two years now, actually. And oh wow, what I mostly stream is Call Call of Duty and um and Fort. Um, I've been I've been playing like Among Us with some of my friends, and they was playing that. I was trying to get in the groove of that. Uh, my, one of my friends, my old time friends back at home told me to download Smite. So now I'm going to try Smite out a little Smite? bit. Smite? Okay. Play. Yeah. So That's I used to play this game called Vainglory, right? On my yep. phone. I, that was, it, he said it's like that. So 
I'm gonna nice. try that one out tonight, actually. Uh, oh, I see people. All right, there we go. Bush hiders. All right, bring out the pickaxe, boys. Don't shoot them. Oh. Oh. Okay, hello. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Hang him up. <laughs> we did it. It took a while, we but we got it, it done. <laughs> we did it. All right, Avante, we easily took first place against the noobs. We're giving out the promo codes. The official promo code for this week is Avante Maddox. You like that one? Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> All right, everybody, make sure you use the code between now and Sunday, January 31st to get your 10% off discount on all Rocket gear. Rocket, thanks for sponsoring this gameplay tonight and always. Avante, it's now time for the show, though, for us to move on to review and rating. All right, Avante, let's rate Fortnite. First off, if Fortnite took building cover out of the game, would it still be Fortnite? No, I don't, I don't think it'll be Fortnite because, um, you know, building in, building is everything within this game. Um, you, if you can't build, you, you're, you won't be able to last long <laughs> unless you're inside of a home and you're creeping around. But, you know, once, once you get the building aspect down, you, you have, you, you have a better chance of winning. Yeah, bush hiding only takes you so far. But <laughs> if, if you're looking at the game, there's so many different aspects to it. What do you love most about Fortnite? Uh, what I love most about Fortnite is probably. Probably when you team up and you have the communication part. Like I said, I watched all the pros play. And when I watch them play, they play the, the, the scrims. And the scrims are when they consist of 60 to 70 players left at the end circle. And, you know, you just hear the communication from the guys, you know, block the back or un, uh, close the bottom floor or, or I'm building up or I'm I'm jumping. We, we're, we're about to shock wave here. And when, they, when, you, when you hear that kind of, communi kind of, kind of communication, it kind of reminds me on the field of football sometimes. Because, you know, in defense, you got to communicate – got to communicate in some realm in that way. And, I, and I'm like, okay, this, this is pretty cool. So I'll be trying to hop inside the scrims at night when they be playing. Let me tell you, I don't last a second. I love that. <laughs> I don't last a second. I'm dead. Other than being a competitive guy and losing every so often, is there anything you dislike about the game that you would change? Um, you know, I, I would prefer some of the old POIs back. You know, I don't. Some of the places I'm, I'm not familiar with, but um, and take some of the bots out of the um, game. They're pretty strong, you know. If you plan playing, like sometimes I play arena and I come up fighting against a team, and now I'm getting, you know, triple team by by the bots that are sitting around shooting at me. So those are those are pretty annoying. But I like the golf carts. Bring the golf carts back, <laughs> right? Bring the golf carts back. <laughs> Bring, the golf Bring them out of the vault. Come on now. <laughs> Man, I'll be honest, the bots almost got me tonight, but it seems like after this game dropped, it changed everything. Every publisher is now making a battle royale. So how does Fortnite hold up against the newest BR games on the market? Uh, you know, you know, they like I said, um, it's, some, it's something that in this game that no game can ever compete with, and that's the building part. Um, you know, it, it, it makes the game, that makes this game very challenging, very fun. You know, I like a challenge. So, you know, when I'm when I'm playing, I'm always trying to get better in my building. And, you know, I'll be playing with my friends and my friends. Probably Adam in the stream right now. <laughs> he teaching me how to do 90s, crank 90s. But I'll probably be cranking 180s. I don't know what I'll be doing. But, you know, I'm getting better as it comes along with it. And um, each each day, you know, it's a process. And, and, and that's, what I, that's what I like about it. It's got a big ceiling on it. You can always keep improving. On a scale to 1 to 100, though, where do you give Fortnite? On the scale of one and one hundred. So since it's like my top three, it's in my top three games. So I'm gonna have to give it a ninety percent. A ninety percent. Yeah, I'll give it a ninety percent. Like I said, it's fun. Um, it's a fun game because you, when you play a game, you don't even have to. It's something you can have fun with playing with your friends and you know be able to still win at, at, at some points too. So. You right. know, you just don't have to be all the way locked in. You can joke around, play around, and, you know, still be able to win. So, 
Yeah, for me, I got to say, I loved the game when it first came out, when I was decent at it. But as soon as building became mandatory, I found myself <laughs> going back to the classic shooters. <laughs> but recently, my nephew's gotten old enough to play, and it's gotten me back into the title. And you look at all of the gaming sphere right now. This is the one game that brought all of entertainment back together. You can play as Mandalorian and Master Chief. Where else can you make that happen other than maybe Smash? I gotta say, Epic killed it with this title, even if I suck at building. So on a scale of common to legendary, I think we gotta give this an Epic, which is probably about a 90 right there. So I'm with you, man. B plus, A minus for all the kids watching. That's where I'd grade it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Avante, it's been an absolute blast having you on the show tonight. Thank you for carrying us in game, being our leader. And uh, next time we'll get Unknown Army to backpack us once again. You ready for that? Yeah, I'm ready for it. You know, I was the IGL tonight, but, you know, when Unknown come around, he's definitely going to be the IGL. <laughs> All right, bud. Take care, man, and have a great time streaming. Enjoy the rest of 2021. Thank you. You too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, show us some love for Avante Maddox. <laughs> Here we go. Avante Maddox is the man. You can watch him dominate more Fortnite and the other Battle Royales on his Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Avante Maddox. Be sure to follow Avante on his social media. His Twitter and Instagram are both at 2Live underscore AM. It's that time of the show for me to go home and play Halo C, where there's no building. It's all about grenades and shooting. <laughs> You can watch us on every platform imaginable, including the usual streaming suspects, our YouTube, Twitch, and the other batch of channels you're watching when you're not gaming. Remember to tell your Discord friends to follow us on all of our socials, our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And as always, check out thegamerhour.com to see who's going to be coming on the show next. From Reuters Studio in Times Square, New York City, I'm Chris Puckett. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go crank some 90s, and we'll catch you next week for another episode of The Gamer Hour. <laughs>